Good morning, students. Today we will begin with lesson number fifteen of standard seven, and the name of the lesson is statistics. Statistics deals with data handling. It is a branch of mathematics that deals with collection, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of huge amount of numerical data. I repeat. it is a branch of mathematics that deals with collection analysis interpretation and presentation of huge amount of numerical data as this year is introduction of statistics we have only average and frequency distribution table as the content of the lesson let us first see how to find average of given data here is the example the data table shows sectors in the area a b c d and e are five sectors in some particular area and these are covid 19 positive cases found so in sector a 20 cases were found in sector b there were 15 cases in sector c 35 cases in sector d 40 cases and in sector e there were 25 cases now the question is that we have to find out average of all the cases in that particular area here is a formula to find average average cases in that area is equal to sum of all sector wise cases means these numbers we have to add upon total number of sectors this gives you total number of sectors so let us start solving the sum sum of all sector wise cases means i have to add all these numbers which is 20 plus 15 plus 35 plus 40 plus 50 upon 1 2 3 4 5 there are total five sectors so upon 5 if i add these numbers i get 135 upon 5 means i have to divide 135 by 5 which gives me 27 cases so this particular area in which these five sectors are there we are getting 27 as the average number of cases so this is the answer of average students let us see one more example to find average the example is shows the time spent by six students to exercise as per fitness diary schedule This is the data table which shows time spent by first student is fifteen minutes, second student is twenty two minutes, third student is thirty six minutes, fourth student is forty minutes, fifth student is twenty four minutes, sixth student is nineteen minutes. We have to find out average time spent by the student for fitness diary. average time spent on exercise is equal to sum of time spent by each student means we have to add all these numbers divided by total number of students see here are six students 1 2 3 4 5 6 so my total number of students in this particular case are 6 let us solve this example now i will take sum of time spent by each student so i will add 15 then 22 36 plus 40 plus 24 plus 19 upon total number of students in this case is 6 so upon 6 if i add all these numbers i get 156 and this upon 6 as it is if i solve this division 
I get twenty six minutes as the answer of average time. Students, you all know how to add the series of number using simple technique which we have learnt last year. I want you to recall it and you have to calculate this addition in quickly in less time. Thus, in this example, the average time spent on fitness diary for exercising is 26 minutes. Here is one more example to understand the concept of finding average. The data here shows piggy bank collection of RO for 7 months. The data table, I will read data table for you. In the month of January, the BP bank collection was Rs. 100. In the month of February, it was Rs. 75. In the month of March, it was Rs. 55. In the month of April, it was Rs. 40. In May, it was Rs. 250. In June, it was Rs. 82. And in July, it was Rs. 70. We have to find average collection of RO. And for average collection, we know now the formula is sum of monthly collection. Means I have to add all these amounts together divided by total number of months. So I have from January to July, I have 7 months. Let us calculate the average amount. So here goes the calculation. 100 plus 75 plus 55 plus 40 plus 250 plus 82 plus 70 upon total number of months are 7 so it is upon 7 here. Now if I add this series of numbers I get 672. And this upon 7 is carried as it is. If I find out the division, I get 96 as the average. As this 96 is amount, you have to write its unit. And because the unit is rupees, you have to write it before the number. Thus, average collection in the Arul's piggy bank was rupees 96.